From the serene skies over Russia, a silent drone captures the hypnotic natural beauty. But this is not a sightseeing journey. It is tracking an international human smuggling ring. And the ending is far from tranquil. The mob reporter here with a quick look at a lucrative international criminal business along the borderlands of Russia's southwest, smuggling citizens from neighboring countries into the Russian Federation. Let me tell you about it. For people of a certain age, they'll have clear memories from more than three decades ago when people were dying to escape Russia, quite literally back when it was the hub of the Soviet Union, a communist totalitarian state. But now, compared to some of its neighboring former Soviet republics, faring less favorably under the New World Order, it is seen as a beacon for some seeking better economic fortunes. Russian authorities have been trying to stamp out organized people smuggling rings along its southwest borders. The latest operation was in Russia's Bryansk region which is about 250 miles from the capital, Moscow, to its northeast, and about the same distance to its southwest from Chernobyl. That's the still contaminated site of the worst nuclear power plant disaster in history. Part of this police operation was secretly tracking suspected people smugglers from high above with a military drone as they moved foreign nationals into Russia in a van across the border from Belarus. Now this smuggling run that was being stalked from the skies was eventually stopped on the ground, catching some of the traffickers red-handed, police say, along with 12 migrants who crossed into Russia illegally. Simultaneous to the van being stopped, the alleged organizers were arrested in a couple of raids in the Bryansk region and in Moscow, where I suspect a true boss would be. Eight people were taken into custody. Bank cards, cash, banking records, walkie-talkies, mobile phones, and vehicles suspected of being used in the various schemes were seized. It is remarkably similar to a probe in November, targeting another smuggling operation a thousand miles east, near Russia's border with Kazakhstan. Yes, that's the Kazakhstan made famous in the West by Borat. Over here, our town of kindergarten. And here... The mockumentary comedy movie by Sasha Baron Cohen. This is the comical image of Kazakhstan that the movie has left for many Westerners. The area of this operation, in the Chelyabinsk region, is, geologically speaking, along the border between Europe and Asia. This network provided foreigners with fake employment contracts in Russia, fictitious registration of place of residence, as well as documents for passing the exam on knowledge of the Russian language, history, and laws. It's the stuff needed to live, work, and stay in the Russian Federation. Seven people were arrested in that operation, with, as Russian authorities announced, quote, the forceful support, unquote, of officers from the National Guard. During the raids, officers found dozens of foreign passports and more than 600 arrival notification forms for foreign citizens. Other operations have targeted the migrants themselves, including this raid in the summer that found nearly 100 migrants with fake documents living together in temporary homes in the Rostov region, along with five suspected smugglers.
From an underworld perspective, these organized networks of smugglers are similar to those around the world. People who move people using black market means across almost any conceivable border. And the underworld rules always apply. If there is a need that can't be filled legally, someone will find a way to fill it illegally, or at least offer to try. Sometimes they come as economic migrants, sometimes as fleeing refugees or persecuted people, sometimes as criminal fugitives, and other times, the most distressing, human trafficking of unwilling or unsuspecting people being sold into a world of virtual slavery. Such ugliness in the background of such a beautiful image. Thanks for watching.